بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hattab, the Arabs would use hattab, i.e. firewood or drywood, to refer to slander, calumny, and hearsay, and gossip. Meaning gossip, hearsay, etc. are not innocent. They are very dangerous. And they ignite fitna, strife, discord, and disunity, and disharmony in families and communities with the speed and the ferocity of fire. So, Umm Jamil, Abu Lahab's wife, would do the same. She was a famous tail carrier, tail bearer, always hearing something from here, planting it there, listening to something here, sowing it there, conveying it here, conveying it there. And the Prophet ﷺ has warned us against namima, gossip and hearsay. We may think of it as being very innocent in a hadith later by Imam Bukhari and Imam Muslim. The Sahaba radiyallahu, Abdullah ibn Abbas radiyallahu anhumah says, we were walking with the Prophet ﷺ when suddenly uh, the Prophet ﷺ heard the sound of two humans being punished in their graves. So the Prophet ﷺ proceeded to the graves, and whilst we were standing over the graves, he pointed at them and he said, In the Indeed, these two occupants of the graves are being punished, and they are not being punished for something major. <coughs> As for one of them, he would carry tales of gossip and hearsay. And as for the other, he wouldn't protect himself from the splashes and the effects of urine. So why did he say they weren't being punished for something great? The reason is, indeed, these two sins are great. That's why there was this punishment, which the Prophet ﷺ himself heard. But they aren't considered great but normally by people. We consider them to be trivial and inconsequential and insignificant. But the Prophet ﷺ said they are both being punished and they are not being punished for something major, i.e. major in everyone's view. But in reality, these two sins are grave. And the two sins were one, failure to protect oneself from the effects of urine. But the first one, Prophet ﷺ said, أَمَّا He would carry tales. Gossip, hearsay. And that's why in a hadith in the introduction of Sahih Muslim, the Prophet ﷺ says, It is sufficient for a man to be a liar that he relates and conveys everything that he hears. For a person to be a liar, he doesn't have to intentionally lie. If his habit is simply to repeat everything he hears, he will eventually be a liar. Because in any given day, we hear a hundred things, uh, 20 of them are, 30 of them are true, 30 of them are misleading and exaggerations, and 40 of them are outright lies. So if we end up repeating everything we hear, we will end up repeating and conveying and relaying to others truths, half-truths, exaggerations, and outright lies. And in the words of the Prophet ﷺ, that is sufficient for a person to be deemed a liar. And in another hadith related by my Muslim in his Sahih, Prophet ﷺ said, لا يدخل الجنة قطات. And in one narration, Naman, a tail carrier will not enter Jannah.